Hey, my name is Jamel. My name's Tracy. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Kingdom, Kingdom Ministry, Ministry, where we bring the blazing fire of God to you. Yes. So today's video is actually going to be about spiritual spouses, um, spiritual wives, spiritual husbands, and even spiritual children. Mm. Now you guys may be asking, what is a spiritual spouse? Now a spiritual spouse is a demonic spirit that is attaching itself to you by either having sexual intercourse with you or trying to molest you in your dream. It may even come as a crush or someone that used to be your ex or someone very attractive and it may look like that you guys are actually dating in a dream. But please know that that is actually very demonic. Spiritual spouses are not of God at all. Mm -hmm. Spiritual spouses are very disguisable a lot, a lot of times. Like It could be a high school crush that you thought, oh my gosh, like, you know, I'm crushing on this girl. I'm crushing on this guy, and that's a demonic spirit that's in there, literally molesting you. And you, it's, it's, we can get really deep if y'all guys want us to get deep into this, because a lot of people don't know. If you're watching this video and some, you've been having sex in your dreams, and you've been having intercourse, you have not been having intercourse with that person. You've been having intercourse with a demonic spirit, and these demonic spirits can stop women from uh, having children. Yeah. They can have women bleed a very long time have a monthly period and be more than bleed the whole entire month instead of just one week. Right. The devil works in trickful, trickful ways all the time, guys. That's why we are coming to you to tell you today that if you are having a spiritual spouse, what to look for and what to do when you having a spiritual spouse. You can even have uh, an ungodly soul tied to these people, like even your own children. Right. So something that I also just want to like piggyback on what he was saying, especially about spiritual spouses. When they are having sexual intercourse with you, they are attacking your life, not only in the spiritual realm, but in the physical realm as well. Because if you don't wake up and then you don't rebuke and renounce these dreams, now what happened in the spiritual realm is going to manifest into the physical realm. So you may notice that you may have the spirit of lust, that you're lusting after people or even after things. You may feel fearful. You may have a lot of uh, affliction and trials and tribulations that you are going through because you didn't renounce those dreams and you didn't renounce that ungodly soul tie that you have with these spiritual spouses. Now also know that these spiritual spouses, they do not come alone. They also come with spiritual children. Ooh. Now when they have um, sexual intercourse with you in these dreams, that's when they lay eggs, especially with the women, they lay these eggs um, in the womb, in the woman's womb, so the um, woman's womb will be barren, so they cannot have children, like my husband said. And, you know, of course, you can renounce it and, and divorce your spiritual wives and spiritual husbands, but we just want to know anything that um, is being disguised as a wet dream, that's not a wet dream, there's nothing exciting about that at all. That is a demonic spirit that is attacking you. Yes, it is. That's a very demonic spirit. And it's just very sad to think about it because most people do not know what a spiritual spouse is. And you could be married and still have a spiritual spouse. You can be married and still have a spiritual spouse. A lot of people are married and they're wondering why they're not, the intimacy level with their husband and their wife is not good. It's because their husband or their wife is laying down and getting having sex every night with somebody else. And who they're having sex with is a demonic spirit. There's been times where even my Nana even told me she had a, a, a demonic dream with spiritual spouse and it was her own husband. But we know that still having sex in your dreams is not of God. Right. Having sex in your dreams period even if it's you shows as your wife or shows as your husband it's still demonic because a de a, a, a demonic spirit likes to disguise itself as anything it can disguise itself as right it likes to disguise itself as anything it can disguise itself as like you be thinking that you be laying down having uh having intercourse with justin bieber but you're not having no intercourse with justin bieber you have an intercourse with a demonic spirit yeah and like my wife was saying, she said, wet dreams. A lot of people are like, oh, it's just a wet dream. I used to have think that sometimes. Oh, I just had a wet dream and stuff like that. Or uh, I just had a little dream that I was, you know, 
before I was married to my wife, I was having sex with this girl, and I was just having going at it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't. And now I'm thinking about it. It's disgusting because I was having sex with a demon. This is me. We are real. We are real as apostles and prophets. We're going to tell you the truth. And so if you have that, if you have that going on with you right now, you need to get up out of your, you need to get up out of that dream you have it and say, I renounce that demonic spirit right now. I rebuke it, and I send that to the foot of the cross because you don't want... If you're single, you don't want that spiritual spouse that you are married to and the spiritual realm to affect you to even get married in the natural realm. You don't want that because that's what a spiritual spouse wants to do. A spiritual spouse wants to continue to destroy your life, right. have you depressed, wonder why that you keep bleeding, wonder why you can't find a man, uh, your king of spouse, why, wonder why you can't find, uh, uh, like I just said that, wonder why or you can't find your king of spouse. Even when you find your king of spouse, you wonder why, why can I be intimate with my kingdom spouse? Why can I be intimate with my husband or my wife? This is what spiritual spouses do. They do that. They want you to not be intimate with your kingdom spouse because the devil, he hate marriages. He hate when a husband and wife come together and they glorify God together. He absolutely hates it. He hates that very much. He despises it. And uh, guys, I just want to let you know, a lot of people are getting married right now. That's because God is returning. God is returning. So if you're watching this video, you do want to clean this spouse and you've been having sex in your dreams, go ahead and just rebuke that. All you got to do is simple, simple prayer like this. Father God, I renounce and I rebuke any demonic spiritual spouse that's to keep attacking me in my dreams. Any, any door that I have opened towards it, any door that I have opened, Father God, I ask that you close it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And our Father does have the, he does have the authority to close doors and open doors too. And like I was just even telling somebody today, sickness is not of God. Yes, and also make sure in the prayer that you are divorcing um, these spiritual spouses. Ooh, that's a good one. I divorce the spiritual spouses and I break agreement, especially with the spiritual children as well. Spiritual children are very important and come against the spirit of lust, the spirit of masturbation, the spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of Ahab, um, Ahab, the spirit of Baal, because that was the God that they were operating under. The spirit of Baal is what the God that Jezebel and Ahab believed in. So please renounce and break agreement with these spirits because these demonic spirits will continue to manifest in your life if you do not break agreement with it. Mm -hmm. Also something that I want to add in is a door that opens for spiritual spouses to come in is masturbating, um, just lusting after other women or other men, and also watching porn pornography. This is an open door on how a lot of spiritual spouses come in, especially in the spiritual realm, and attack you. Not only in the spiritual realm, but in the natural realm as well. So please stop, you know, lusting after other women or other men. Please stop watching pornography. Please stop masturbating because it's not of God. And it opens doors, especially for spiritual spouses to come into your life and attack you. Amen. We thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to go ahead and donate to the ministry, you know it's going to be down below. We're not forcing you. We're not begging. <laughs> anyway, we love you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe for more uh, uh, for more content. We thank you guys. We came from all the way, just 200. Now we have 700 some subscribers. <laughs> We can't wait to God continue to keep blessing us and lifting us up higher and continue to pray for your apostle and your prophet here at Kindle Ministry so God can cover us in the blood of Jesus and protection that we need to continue to keep bringing great videos to you guys. We love you. God bless you. God bless you.